Hey guys, what's up? Basic Nerf here. Today is November 25th, and I'm here to bring you some breaking news, breaking Nerf news that I actually broke yesterday afternoon. I just wasn't near a computer, so I wasn't able to, you know, post photos and, uh, you know, make my analysis video that I'm making here. But, the big news is that basically, Amazon UK uh, put up product shots, box art, and product descriptions of five upcoming new Nerf products in 2013. The first one here, as you can see, is the Vortex Diatron, firing two discs at once. Next is the Endstrike Elite Rough Cut 2x4. This was actually mentioned in the Wired.com Nerf article a couple of months ago, and we're seeing it now. As you can see, it fires two darts at once, and it seems to be Nerf's new shotgun. Okay, third in line is the Endstrike Elite Strife. This, again, was also mentioned in the Wired.com Nerf article a couple of months ago. Um, this is a semi-automatic clip firing blaster and I'll go more into more details on this later on actually why I should be excited for this blaster but again probably model after a barricade or you know as modding people, modding community used to do the clip bed barricades alright fourth in line is the Endstrike Elite strong arm this was uh, that blaster that was bid on on eBay a couple of months ago as well in the summer, by uh, July. Remember the winning bid was about one thousand two hundred dollars. Well, it looks like you know normal USA consumers will be getting this soon. Um, you guys, I'm sure you guys have looked up a lot of info on this, but if not, you know a lot of info has been out for months. It's supposed to be slam fire pistol. And certainly, but not least, the End Strike Elite Fire Strike, which is basically going to be an End Strike Elite remake. Of the of the Night Finder, um, this was pictured in uh, a lot of the End Strike Elite box art of the kid uh, guy on there with the tactical vest, and you know this is the little holster. So we'll be getting this soon as well. All right, guys, let's take our first look at the first blaster, the the Vortex Diatron. Uh, I'm not going to read you the product descriptions for these blasters because it will just take extra time. You guys can read it yourself. You know, I might mess something up, might might mispronounce something. You know, so just check it out yourself in the description or the links. Now, again, what's interesting about this, when I first saw it, I got pretty hyped. I was like, wow, this looks crazy. And I was like, is this blaster even, like, real? Because it looks like it's kind of like, you know, like a reflection of itself. But it actually is, of course. Um, if you look at the box art, you will see that it seems like two discs are coming at the top. Um... I don't think this is correct because you know, if you're firing two shots out of the same barrel, it's good, it seems like you know the discs are going to jam or they might hit each other, reducing ranges. You know, it just seems like a lot of things can go wrong. And plus, what's the whole point of having a blaster this big if you're just going to you know use one chamber? So I think we'll be firing discs at the bottom as well. Um, if you look towards the back, top left of the pitcher. There's an area to attach your stocks, so that's always a plus, you know, for stability. Um, that little notch above the trigger, it looks like a notch to really, to drop uh, the magazine open. Although I don't see in this picture where you can, you know, pop down the magazine loading this. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna assume here it's gonna be something like the Vigilon, where you know, flick the switch and on the left side only, it opens up to load discs. Um, if you look a little above that, there's like a slit. That's uh, the disc switch to you know release your jammed up discs. What I thought was pretty interesting is that it says the magazine can hold up to ten discs, but it comes with eight. You know, is this another way of Nerf trying to cut back costs? I don't really know. And is anybody getting like a plasma cutter vibe from a uh, Dead Space here? Anyone? But anyways, back to the diatron and its features. I'm not 100% sold on this blaster yet. I mean, can't really be sold anyway because I haven't used it yet, so I can't really you know, give it a fair view. But my first impressions, I like the idea a lot. I like what they're trying to do here with the disc and you do something different again with a rough cut that's going to come up in a couple minutes, in a couple seconds. Um, but as you've probably you know, fired with nerf discs before, they're a little bit unpredictable. Especially in the wind, 
And after about what, like 35, 30, 40 feet around that range, the discs start to be a little bit more unpredictable. And so if you're firing two at once, you know, that's double the factors, double the unpredictability. And it's, it's just going to be, you know, kind of weird, in my opinion, to use at first. I'm sure Nerf's got some, you know, engineering there done um, to, you know, to work around this. But if we're just, you know, playing like it's going to be a normal Nerf disc shooter, it might not be the best to use in battle, you know. But I guess two shots are better than one. Alright, on to the next blaster, the End Strike Elite Rough Cut 2 by 2 by 4 You know, that seems like a lot of syllables to say, so I'm just going to call it the Rough Cut for now. Um, you know, just looking at the blaster really quick, it seems like it'll be a pretty solid nerf shotgun. The priming handle there seems, you know, pretty big. Um, I know some people complain about, you know, oh, this blaster is too small for me, or, you know, the handle is too small. Um, Taking a look at it, the handle again seems pretty decently sized. You know, the trigger area seems small, but you're pretty much just going to stick one or two fingers in there and then to, just to pull the trigger, so that's it. Uh, it looks like there is a uh, end strike rail at the top. That's always a plus. Tactical rail. Um, it's got the two sling points at the back. And it fires two darts at once. And I'm not sure if it's just going to be like... Each pump, you know, fires the first chambers, then the second row, then the third row, then the fourth row. Or is it going to index, like, up and down? It seems like it's just going to, you know, do first row, second row, third row, fourth row. Because, I don't know, the, that plastic looks like it's pretty set there. Um, this will definitely be an interesting blaster to use in battle. Because, you know, I know most games with friends, you know, and people, usually the universal rules, like, three hits, you're out. Um, also, sending two shots an opponent's way at a time is going to be interesting, but I'm worried about the ammo capacity on the thing, only eight shots. And it's front loaded, so if you run out of darts, you're going to go put one in the front, you know, flip the blaster around, put it in the front, and the next barrel, the next barrel. You know, I'm not really, I'm really a fan of uh, front loading blasters, but I'll probably make an exception for this. And if this is getting the strike elite ranges, that's going to be even better. At the very least, it's going to be a fun and interesting blaster to use. And, uh, you know, we'll see more when it comes out. Alright, on to the third blaster, the End Strike Elite Strife. This was the other blaster I mentioned in the Wire.com article, and we're seeing it now in physical form. Or photo form, anyway. Um, now, my first thoughts for this, I was like, oh man, another flywheel blaster. The barricade left some pretty sour taste in my mouth. The Raven kind of made up for it. Um, when I saw this, I was like, geez, it's just like a barricade, barricade 2.0, or it's, you know, a little bit better, I guess. But, you know, we have to look at its features, first of all. It is clip-fed, so you can put your Raider drums in there, your Alpha Trooper drums, your 18 Dart mags. That's a good thing. Um, if you look all the way to the left, top left, again, it has attachment for Nerf stocks. Okay, that's definitely a plus. But since this is a flywheel, blaster, it's not like the barricade or stockade, so... If you look where the trigger is, there's a little orange tab there. We're going to assume that that is the button you hold down, just like the Raven or the Hailfire, to rev up the blaster, and then you pull on the trigger to fire. If you look at the front, where the barrel is, it's got natures and grooves there, so you could add on your barrel attachments. So that's definitely going to increase accuracy. Um, that's always a good thing. Also, if you look at the, the bottom front, it's got a little niche there. It's got a tactical rail. You can put your, uh, you know, your retaliator handles, your stampy grips, your recon tactical lights. Um, put a lot of stuff there, and that's good. That's a plus, I'd say. So when I looked at these features, it kind of reminded me a little bit of the Hailfire. Well, mainly the bottom front did. And you, I don't know if you guys have played with the Hailfire yet, but I liked it a good amount um, because the revving trigger on it was pretty sensitive, so the, the wheels would rev up quickly. Um, the trigger was super easy to pull, so easy to pull fast. You can you can fire off all your darts, and if, you know if Nerf, if Nerf is incorporating that and its good flywheel wheels and motors into this blaster, I think this blaster is going to be a great blaster. Actually, I mean you know getting the easy trigger pull on this versus something like the barricade. 
or maybe even the Raven which have you know kind of hard trigger pulls if this has an easy trigger pull and the uh, flywheel button you know it's easy to rev this could be a very maybe nerf's most versatile blaster yet or versatile blaster yet um you know people thought the Raven can do that I mean uh, the recon can do that because the recon had a lot of tactical rails which it does um but you know it wasn't it didn't have that good much ranges um, you move to the Alpha Trooper, which I thought was a pretty versatile blaster. You know, only one tactical rail, but you know, had good ranges, stock on and off. This has good ranges, elite ranges. Oh, you can also, you know, put in trust fires on this thing, probably, or stronger batteries because it is battery powered. Um, I don't know, this, this should be a good blaster in theory, and if it's something like, you know, easy usage of the Hailfire. Um, hopefully it's got the, this blaster has an easy trigger pull and the wheels rub it fast and uh, we should have something good. Something versatile, something a lot of people will use I would say. It's got something for everyone. If you have 6 star clip still from you know a couple years ago you can use that here. Probably I'm assuming. And yeah, it's uh looks pretty pimping. You know, put on the blue stock, put on that retaliator front barrel and get yourself a good blaster. Alright, so the next blaster featured here is the Unstrike Elite Strong Arm. If you guys are, you know, active on your internet community, then you've probably seen, uh, you know, this getting on eBay a couple months ago in like July. And I believe the winning bid is somewhere around $1,200. And, uh, where USA consumers are gonna get it now. Or, you know, not now, but soon. If the Unstrike Spectre and Maverick had a baby, this would probably be it. It fires six darts, so it's same as the Maverick. Um, has slam fire, which is a little bit odd, but I guess it's a nice feature to have. Um, it looks like a pretty kind of simple blaster. It's got two hooks in the back, so you can you know, strap on your clips, bandoliers, whatever to hold the thing. Um, remember the there was a rail attachment, tactical rail attachment on the Maverick on the on the slide. Now they moved it forward in the front on the shell itself. Um, the product description says the barrels pop out easily to load the darts, just like the Spectre slash, you know, Maverick modded thing. No, it seems like a, like a solid blaster, six shots, slam fire. I mean, I wouldn't be slam firing only six darts. But, you know, I guess it's probably going to get elite range as well. That's going to be definitely going to be a plus. So I could say this would be very, very solid, solid sidearm. Um, we would, we're probably gonna have to say goodbye to the Maverick though when this comes out, you know, cause, uh, it's better than the Maverick in pretty much all sorts of ways, so why would keep the Maverick around? I don't know. But you can't really say too much about this, um, because it's not out yet, and because it's just simple, doesn't have, you know, too many features for a Nerf Blaster. But yeah, that's the Unstrike Elite Strong Arm. Alright guys, last but not least, the new blaster picture here is the Unstrike Elite Fire Strike. This is uh, Night Finder 2.0, I guess a lot of people are saying. Um, it's the it's the blaster that was pictured on the guy's tactical vest, you know, on the Unstrike Elite box art. Um, this actually, this blaster already leaked online to some places, and you know, some people have it, and they're reporting that the ranges are getting like, you know, I don't even know, to be honest, but there's, you can look out, you can search online for info. Um, I do remember they're saying the measurements though, it's smaller than the knife finder, but it's a little bit wider. Um, they're saying you can get a lot of modding, modding potential out of this. What else? Oh yes, the light there, the laser light is still there, but unlike the knife finder when it was just attached to the trigger, and then the trigger goes like halfway down the light shines. Um, there's actually a button under the trigger this time, so you just hold that down and the light will shine. Other than that, you know, I still got the same Night Finder features, just the two dart holder and the pullback ring. Um, I wonder if it has a dart holder under the trigger, I mean under the handle. I don't know, but this will probably replace the Night Finder, I'm going to assume. But right now this looks pretty pippin' as well. The Night Finder you know, such a great fun blaster for modding and for stock usage, so 
to get something better than that, and uh, I think it's I think it's uh, been due for a while. But yeah, guys, that's been uh, my analysis slash initial thoughts on these end striker leaks slash vortex nerf blaster leaks. Um, leave me a comment, you know, on the video. Tell me what you think. Give it a like if you thought this video was good. And until then, peace out, guys.